Go! <laughs> Alright, what I like to do is I like to show you guys how to solve the proportion uh, with the variable on both sides. And one thing we're looking at this kind of problem, a lot of people that um, have seen this, a lot of people want to say, oh, cross multiplication, cross multiplication. I want to show you a different way to solve this rather than cross multiplication. Just a way, a different way to think about it because what I've seen is in upper level mathematics, a lot of people, they get, um, they get tricked up on because they have cross multiplication memorized and they end up making mistakes and they lose the idea of common denominators or having using least common multiple to get rid of your denominators. When given rational fractions, the first thing I always look into is getting rid of our, rash, our rational terms. So I, that means I want to get rid of what's on my denominator. Now, when you have the same denominator or just one fraction, you, it's easy to multiply just by the denominator on both sides or by every term to eliminate your denominator. However, when you have two terms that have different denominators, you have to multiply by the least common multiple or these that have the least common denominator. So between 4 and 2, what is the lowest number that both of these numbers go into? And I understand that's going to be 4. Now, a big mistake that students say is they multiply by 4, and they multiply the denominators by 4. You have to be careful. Remember, 4 it can be represented as a fraction, where 4 would be your numerator and 1 would be your denominator. So when I'm multiplying by 4, I need to make sure I multiply by 4, time, by four over 1. So I'm, not, I'm only multiplying the numerator. Now, on this problem, my 4s are going to cancel out. However, just, just a side note, if the 4s can cancel out, you have to make sure you multiply the 4 times the x and the 4 times the negative 3. But fortunately for us, our 4s cancel out. And anything divided by 1 just becomes what it originally was, x minus 3. Now, you could write this is 4 times x divided by 2. Or you could say, well, 2 goes into 2 one time. And 2 goes into 2 times. So it becomes equal to 2x. And then 2x divided by 1 is always going to be 2x. So now I have a, a variable on both sides, and I need to get the variables on one side. You have to get you have to have one variable and get the variable on one side. And I notice it's gonna be a lot easier if I just subtract this x here. I get a negative 3 is equal to 1x, or what we just like to write as x. So therefore, x equals negative 3. So that's how you solve a proportion with the variable on both sides. Woo.